Hi friends, this is Carmen. Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. So glad you're here. I have a repotting video for you today and I'm going to be focusing on two plants that I am training to be bonsai trees. And bonsais are something I've always been really interested in. I'm just fascinated with them, how something so beautiful and so tiny, you know, and I realized that you can create just about bonsai from almost any type of plant. So not just the little ficus type of trees, but other plants also. And that's what I'm gonna be sharing with you today, okay? So let's get to it. Okay, so the two plants I'm gonna be working on, First, the first one. I think I may have shown this one to you before. This is my variegated Portulacara Afra that I have been uh, had in this little pot and just cutting away at it, trying to shape it into a nice, you know, bonsai looking tree. Um, I have probably had this, I think, about three or four months and um, it's finally time for it to go into its own pot. I got these pots from uh, my Timu order and I'll have a link of that video down below if you haven't seen it yet. But this is the little pot that it's going in. It does have a tray that will go underneath. I think it's just the perfect size for that. And then the second one is I want a plant that I got more recent, but I had been on the lookout for. This is my Adenium, my Desert Rose. I got this not too long ago at um, Lowe's. Yeah, it was Lowe's, and I paid $17.98 for it. So it looks like it's about to bloom even, so that's what kind of prompted me, like, oh, I better get this repotted because... It's getting ready to bloom, and I think it may be just needing a little bit more room, um, but it's looking really good. It has lost a few leaves on it. I think it's just from it acclimating to my home and, and such, but it's got some buds on it. That one's getting ready to bloom, and that one is gonna go in this pot. I got this from Timu also in that same order. And it's got a tray and a nice, bowl uh, flat planter that goes with it really nice uh, drainage there too lots of holes there for drainage and um, both of these plants really are are more are going to be treated like succulents one of them is a succulent the portocara afra but the desert rose the adeniums like to be treated like succulents in the sense of they like very gritty um, fast draining soil they hold water in their codex here so they don't like to be over watered just like the succulents that hold their water in their leaves like this portrait of cara afra so they don't like to be over watered right. also so let's do this one first and we'll see what we have in here i don't see anything coming out the bottom i do see a couple of roots there but i don't see anything coming out so I'm going to give it a little squeeze to kind of loosen it up and hopefully it will slide right out. Oh, I love it when a plan comes together. Save that pot. And it's good that the soil is breaking apart. The soil looks good. I will probably use this as my base to remix and add some more grit to it. Got some lava rocks and stuff that I'm going to add to it. Now this is going into a pot that is much more shallow than what it was in. So one of the ways you can get a wider codex or thicker codex is by raising up from the soil line. You see the soil line here of where it was planted in that nursery pot. I'm going to raise this up, repot it, raise it up a little bit and bring the soil line down here, maybe about an inch. And that should entice the plant to grow a little thicker 
it will also give me room in the pot since it's shallow. Wow, it looks really good. I want it to kind of sit like this where the roots grow outward into that shallow pot. So I'm just gonna brush off some of the soil there. And I'm gonna cut some of these little roots here. Just to kind of clean it up. And I have some cinnamon here. Cinnamon is a natural fungus fungicide. So I put some here. I went into my son-in-law's cupboard here and found some cinnamon. And just gonna put some on where I've cut the roots. That will help that little area heal. And won't get, you know, reduce the chances of it getting root rot. I could wait for a while and just let this sit and let those areas callus over, but I don't want to <laughs> because I want to get this into some fresh soil before it, um, before it blooms. So I took out all the roots and little debris and stuff that I could find and I'm going to repurpose this soil. I've added some lava rocks to it and some horticultural charcoal. Just going to mix that up. And this is pretty much what I would use on any succulent. It's got minimal amount of um, bark in it. So if I come across any more roots or things like that, I will take it out. But I do like to repurpose my soil if I can. So here is the pot I'm gonna put it in and I'm gonna sit it like this. So the roots will go out like that and I'll bring the soil line down. Now, I'm going to try out these, these little screens I got from Timu also, and I'm just going to set them in here. I think two, like a two, that will sit nicely to cover those. Spread that in there. I have seen individuals that have repotted um, their adeniums where they would put something on here to have it sit on there to, and that will train the roots to grow outward. I don't think I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna set mine in there just like this. And I wanna see, because this adenium has a certain growth pattern. It's growing like this, up like that. So it's got kind of a front and back. So I don't want it in the, the wrong way. I want to set it where it's facing the right way, or at least what I think is right. <laughs> if I uh, did not have the root system that this has where it was a little bit wobbly. You can put wires through the bottom of these pots and kind of wire the plant so it will be held steady. But this has enough root system in it that it will hold itself steady. You can almost, if you know, I wanted mine in the center, but you, when you're putting it into a bonsai tray like this or pot, you can think about the scenery of it, how you want it to look. You can set it more off to the side and put some ornamental gravel on it, a little, you know, trinket, a little bench, something to give it almost like a scenic look like you're in a park and um, you have this tree there. But I want mine in the center. Who knows, maybe in a couple of years when it's ready for a repot and I want to move it up, move the caudex up a little bit 
to um, have it grow a little bit more, I'll do that. But for right now, this is what works. I have lava rock to use as a top dressing, but I think that will be a temporary solution. I'd like to get some more ornamental rock. You know what's a good place to find them is like PetSmart in the fish area for fish tanks, gravel for fish tanks. It works beautifully for this stuff. So I can tell let's see, that I've got it moved up just a tad, about an inch. I moved the codex up and that will um, help in the growth. I've got a little bit of roots showing there. And that's okay, I'm gonna cover that up a little bit. As the plant grows, that may expose itself. Okay, so I added the lava rock. I didn't have very much, it's a little scarce. So I really needed more. And then I found, uh, I have the sheet moss. So I put that down so I can spread the lava rock more. And then this is my little jade elephant that I picked up at a Goodwill years and years ago. I mean, like a good 10 years ago. And I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna put him here. I Yes, I thought about using it on my next plant, the Portrait of Cara Afra, uh, because its nickname is Elephant Bush. But the little pot is gonna be too small. So just to make a little scenery, kind of like I put them here. I am going to get some more lava rock or a different type of top dressing, but this will do fine for now. And maybe I can get some uh, other little collectibles and to put in here. But I think this desert road is, is going to be lovely here. I'll give her a drink of water once I can put her out into the patio. She's going to go in my patio. So here is the Portucara Afra elephant bush bonsai that I'm doing. I wanted to show you real quickly the mother plant. This is the plant that I separated it from. And more recently, it's lost a lot of leaves. Not sure why, but it's coming back. Um, I think it's just the seasonal thing, but it's got a lot of new growth on it. And this one I'm just gonna let grow into a big bush. And if I can, into a hanging plant, because I have seen these as hanging plants. This was a... Um, I think it was a Lowe's clearance plant rescue. And when I repotted it, I separated this portion that already had roots on it that had a uh, look to it, a growth pattern to it that would be really good for bonsai. So this soil is fairly new. I am going to reuse it. and just put it into a more permanent pot. And I also, I, I just wanted to take a look at the roots because it had very, very minimal roots when I put it in there. And it looks like it's been growing really nice. Roots. So this is the pot I'm gonna put it in. And it's got drainage in it, nice drainage, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this little screen in there just so no soil gets out, but it's still plenty of room for water to get out and i'm not going to separate the roots or flatten them to grow in a certain way or anything like that because this uh pot is not super shallow it will grow nicely in here now the soil line looks like it's got something growing here but i don't want that to grow so i'll just pop that off the soil line looks like <coughs> it was about to here. So I'm gonna raise it up just a tad and maybe put the soil line right there. So, I think that'll work. I wanna make sure I don't put it too far down. So just kinda pop it up and down. Take it to so the soil will get in between there. I may put some of the moss around it. Nice. 
Let's see how it looks with some moss. I don't want to put too much or too thick because I have to remember that this, yes, it's a bonsai, I'm, or I'm training it to be a bonsai, but it is still a succulent, and I don't want it to get root rot or anything, so I'm going to just go very, very lightly, and this is temporary until I can get some uh, top dressing, some gravel top dressing, just to give it a nice look. I think that'll look cute. Well, there you have it, friends. A quick repotting of two plants that I absolutely love and I think will become beautiful bonsais in their own right. Um, very similar soil, very similar watering needs, so that should be easy to take care of. I'm going to treat them both as succulents, basically. Can't wait for that desert rose to bloom. I'll definitely keep you updated on that. If you're not following me on Instagram already, make sure you follow me there because I'll be posting pictures there of when they bloom and when they grow, just like little kids, you know? <laughs> Thanks so much, friends. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Give it a like. That helps me out so very much. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Make sure you hit that notification bell right down there and so you don't miss any of my videos. I'll see you in the next one, friends. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye now.